Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. You know, there are a lot of different types of magic, different fields, different areas of study, right? And a lot of times I think we give a lot of attention to card magic, coin magic. I know here on my channel, I focus also on mentalism, right? Reading minds, but there's plenty of other areas. In fact, one question that got posed to me the other day was, how do you get started in rope magic? And that seems like a great magic question. All right, rope magic. Rope magic is a field of magic, right? Very popular field of magic. And I don't know that we always talk about it maybe as much as we should considering how many people do rope magic. I mean, when we think about stage magicians, uh, that also moves into parlor, that also moves into party, right? So you actually have a lot of people doing rope magic, and yet it seems like whenever you search the internet, there's all kinds of information about cards, right? All kinds of information about coins. But it was posed to me uh, the other week or so, someone had asked, well, how do you get started in rope magic? And I thought, that's a great question. Now, I personally, I've done a few rope tricks. Most of the rope tricks I have done in the past have been gimmicked. They're like things you purchase that you're able to do uh, rope magic with. But rope magic is a lot like card magic. Of course, there are gimmicks out there, but you can literally do magic with a deck of cards. Plain, ordinary deck of cards with no gimmicks whatsoever. Same with rope. You can do rope magic, very powerful rope magic, with just rope. Just rope. Well and a pair of scissors, and a little bit of knowledge. So I guess we need to break this down. First, we need to talk about what type of rope to buy, right? We should talk about the tools of the trade. Then talk about how to learn rope magic, both through books and through video. And then we should talk about some of the best tricks you should start with. What are the best tricks in rope magic? Let's begin. All right, what type of rope should you buy? Good question, great question, and it's the tool of your trade right? This is what you're going to use when you go out and perform rope magic. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you have the same thought that everybody else has when they first begin in rope magic, and that is, I'll just go buy some cheap rope from the hardware store, right? I've seen it there. They sell it on large spools. You can just pull off however many uh, feet, yards you want, right? And walk out of there for five bucks, right? That's true. You can. You can. However, <laughs> It's not the best idea. It, we've all thought of that too, we have, and we've all gone to the store and bought rope, and what you're gonna find is the rope from the hardware store is uh, very coarse, very cheap, very stiff, and when you cut it, a lot of times it frays and unravels and comes apart. It could be very good practice rope. Now I agree, magician's rope can be very expensive, and if you're gonna sit there and practice with it, that could end up costing you a lot of money. You can practice with a deck of cards over and over and over again. Not so with rope, right? Once you start cutting it, that's it. Especially if you make a mistake, that's it. So yes, if you wanna to go to the hardware store and find cheap, inexpensive rope to practice with, by all means. It's not gonna move and act and feel like magician's rope, so I'll, I'll let you know about that. But um, I've heard a couple of things, a couple of resources that you could use though, if you're looking for something more inexpensive. So uh, one suggestion is go to Walmart and get a clothesline. So the clothesline that you would hang clothes on outside, get that. Uh, it's a little softer. It's gonna move a little bit more like what you're looking for. Some people like it a lot, but I would say that's probably a better practice rope. The other suggestion would be don't go to the hardware store go to the fabric store, okay? Go to the fabric store and look through their rope section. Fabric store rope is gonna be softer, okay? And it's not made to bind things or support weight like a hardware store rope, okay? If you go to the fabric store, you're gonna find much softer rope, much more decorative, much more attractive rope. And really, if you've ever held magician's rope, that's what magician's rope feels like. Magician's rope is about 3 8 diameter. Okay, 3 8 diameter, and it feels nice, soft, supple, smooth. In fact, I would buy Magician's Rope to start with. I would. Buy just a small amount of it, 
and feel what it feels like. Okay, that's gonna be what you would take with you if you were to go to the hardware store or if you were to go to a fabric store. Take actual magician's rope with you and compare it with what they have. Okay, start with the best. Start with the best so that you can understand what you're looking for, both in weight, in size, color. Okay, color is key too. A lot of rope from the hardware store is gonna be dull or brown, right? And the reason why magicians love the bright white magician's rope is because it can be seen at a far distance. Rope is not huge, right? So you want that bright white to stand out when you're doing parlor and stage magic. So I would buy some uh, magician's rope to begin with, just so that you know exactly what you are shopping for should you go and try to find it in a more exp inexpensive place. So if you were to go to Penguin Magic, for instance, if you go to penguinmagic.com, they actually have right now two different types of rope. And this is the other thing about buying magician's rope is uh, it seems like whatever's out there and whatever you like <laughs> ends up selling out. And then there's new stuff out there. Uh, it, seeing consistent product on the shelves for years and years and years, it, it's just like any other magic trick. Um, right now, Penguin has rope from Uday, U-D-A-Y, okay? They have it in white, green, yellow, red, and blue. They have it in 25 feet lengths and 50 feet lengths, uh, and you can find their bundle starting at around $12. So that's a very good price, okay? That's a very good price, and that would make great practice rope, and should you end up liking it, yes, by all means, perform with it. Their better quality rope is by BTC, BTC Parlor Rope. They have 50 foot links and I believe they have 100 foot links. Um, it is a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive, but that is the very best that Penguin carries right now. All right, so how do you learn how to do rope magic? Obviously, uh, if you know my channel, I love books. And so I'm always gonna recommend books to you. And, and I'm gonna recommend three and they're all beginner level, okay? Beginner level, this is where you're gonna start, okay? And the first recommendation is the Encyclopedia of Rope Tricks by Dover, okay? The Encyclopedia of Rope Tricks by Dover. This is one of the oldest, and this is one of the most classic books on rope magic. Uh, it was in publication long before Dover even picked it up, and you can still find it at Amazon, I believe. Uh, the second one I would recommend to you is Self-Working Rope Tricks by Carl Foles. This is also a great place to start, and I would say that book is probably more accessible. You'll probably find that book in more places, especially at a magic store. Third recommendation I would have is Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic. Now, I would recommend that book to any beginner in magic, no matter what. Cards, coins, stage, parlor, party, paper, rope, mentalism, you name it. Mark Wilson's uh, Complete Course in Magic is one of the very best books you can buy. And surprisingly, it's also a great place. It's a great introductory lesson to rope magic. Mark Wilson used to do rope magic in his TV special. So that book's a little bit more expensive, but it's a better investment because it's gonna cover a wide range of magic tricks and it's a great place for magicians to start. All right, so what about video? Well, there's lots of video out there. And certainly if you did a search through one of the uh, internet stores, I'm sure you'd find a lot out there. My personal recommendation is gonna be something that's aimed at beginners and I think is affordable, okay? Because I think that would be where you'd wanna, wanna shoot for. And so I'm, gonna rec I'm only gonna recommend one magician to you. I'm only gonna recommend one, and that's Daryl, okay? Daryl is the magician's magician. He is awesome, he's fantastic. He's one of my favorite magicians of all time. Um, he's got two great resources for you. The first of which is Daryl's Rope Routine. It's an instant download and it only costs 20 bucks. $20, you'll get an instant rope routine. It's a download, it's a video, you'll be able to watch it, and uh, it's, a, it's a small investment and it'll get you going, right? It'll get you going. The second uh, recommendation I have for you is he also has a three volume course in Rope Magic. So you can find Expert Rope Magic Made Easy by Daryl in volumes one, two, and three. And I believe they're also very inexpensive right now. I think they're, I think they're 25 to $30 a piece. Through those three volumes, you would, you, it would cover everything. I could, I could give you tons and tons of resources, but why? Just give you the best because they're also affordable and they're gonna cover everything, okay? So 
just go there, <laughs> okay? I know sometimes we can get overwhelmed with recommendations like, oh, try this or try this or try this, and you don't know where to go. I would just go to Daryl, personally. I mean, the, the man was, a, was brilliant. Uh, okay, so what are the best tricks? Now, you've seen some rope tricks on TV, I'm sure, right? Or maybe you were even lucky enough to see a magician in person. Maybe he did a rope trick here or there, and you, you're thinking to yourself, well, I, I want to do a trick like that. Okay, uh, you want to learn a cut and restored routine, right? Cut and restored rope. So just look for that title. Look for that title, cut and restored rope, okay? Uh, there's, there's some that you can do uh, with something as simple as a magician's utility. Do you know that? You can do a cut and restored rope trick with a magician's utility. If you have a book on TT magic, eh, 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 there's probably a cut and restored rope trick in that book, okay? And it's as simple as just having a little piece of extra rope that gets hidden that you cut in half and then hide again. Uh, 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 if you get what I'm throwing down. So, <laughs> so any cut and restored rope routine, look for that. Uh, Professor's Nightmare. Professor's Nightmare, probably the most popular rope routine out there. If you've seen a rope routine, you've probably seen Professor's Nightmare. That's probably what the one you saw, okay? It is the one most magicians do. Uh, Harold Sterling's short and long rope. This is another very popular one. And if you haven't seen Professor's Nightmare, you've probably seen this one. Held Sterling's short and long rope. That is in the Encyclopedia of Rope Tricks for Magicians from Stuart James that I mentioned earlier, okay? So you can, if you get the Stuart James book that I mentioned earlier, you're gonna find that rope trick in that book. And like I said, one of the most popular rope tricks you can do. Uh, third recommendation is Daryl's Acrobatic Knot. Daryl's Acrobatic Knot, again, very popular trick is that trick you've seen where the knot comes off and the rope's still there, right? Or the knot jumps from one place to the other. Great trick. Um, Fiber Optics by Richard Sanders. Also, highly recommended amongst rope magicians. A favorite among rope magicians. And lastly, Bill Neff's Miracle Rope Trick. Bill Neff's Miracle Rope Trip. That's six, right? That's six? Six? Six rope tricks. Those are the standards. Those are the, those are the classics. Those are the favorites, and of course, as you progress and as you learn, you will develop your own favorites as well. All right, that's everything I can say about rope magic, getting started, getting you going. And now this is the great part about the internet. Now you get to share. You probably have advice about buying rope. You probably have advice about how to learn good books, good videos, and your favorite rope tricks. We wanna hear those. As long as you post a courteous comment down below that you think is helpful, uh, I'm sure we would all love it if you would add to the conversation. That's what makes the internet a wonderful place to learn. And I wanna thank those of you who have submitted uh, magic questions. Thank you for this one about rope magic. I hope to get to all of them, or at least the best ones that I think we can all benefit from. Uh, if you have benefited from this, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. That really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a row of graphics that look like t-shirts and you can click any one of those and that'll take you to my Teespring store. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points. So there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I wanna thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time, bye.